how you doing? Uh, this is me and my wife, uh, Mrs. K, and Coach CJ. And this is uh, the Missouri Regulators, uh, 2021 state champion. Uh, this is the road to state, uh, the first year first. Uh, as far as um, uh, as far as this organization, uh, we are completely brand new. Um, like I said, it is the first year first. Uh, I'm so proud of um, where we came from uh, to where we have become now. Um, we uh, we managed to uh, come together and uh, bring home a uh, state championship uh, for these babies and nobody nobody never nobody never even had any faith in us in the beginning. And now this is just a, this is just a stepping stone. So um, I'm real excited for what uh, the future holds for the for the organization, and um, pretty much uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And uh, my wife right here, if it wasn't for her, uh, pretty much probably none of this wouldn't be possible. She woke up uh, woke up with a dream, um, saying that uh, you know what uh, we should. We should start our own football organization. And God damn it, that's that's what we did. Um, when we started, we didn't have anything. Uh, the kids didn't have no helmets, no equipment, <laughs> nothing. And uh, uh, we uh, fundraised. Um, we fundraised till we couldn't fundraise no more, and we managed to uh, pull everything together. The organization started off with 90 kids. For the first year, and to me, that's that's just simply amazing. And um, we didn't end with ninety. We started off with ninety. Yeah, yeah, and it was a lot of trials and tribulations through this whole season. You know, we lost a lot of a lot of people. You know, but I guess that that's that just comes with the territory. So, um, pretty much, uh, I'm gonna um, turn it over to my uh, my state champion coaches. Uh, they they uh they work really really well together. At first, I didn't even you know they they knew coaches you know of course one of my coaches he was here before, um, but uh, we got a new coach in here and he uh, he brought the pain when it came to the defense and um, if it wasn't for these two they pretty much set the tone for the whole organization because it starts with the babies and, you know if this team sticks together. They're gonna pretty much be unstoppable. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to my coaches. This is Coach Ray, head coach of the Missouri Regulators, eight U division. Coach Chris, defensive coach. So, what made you all want to be coaches of the Missouri Regulators? Well, I always wanted to be a coach. Even when I was in high school, I wanted to be a coach, and I knew I wanted to be like. Uh, make a difference in young younger people's uh, lives. Hell yeah, I agree. I think the main thing for me is just really being, uh, given the opportunity to, you know, give this game back to kids, you know what I'm saying? And just really letting them learn the game of football and, and enjoy it. That's, that's the beauty of it, for real. What sets this organization apart from every other organization? Like what makes this organization well, for me, this organization was more family orientated than organization orientated. So I gravitated. All the kids and all the heads of the organization was more like family to me. Yeah, I agree. It, it, it definitely felt like more of a, a, a family culture. You know, uh, it was some little rough little patches, but. Man, I mean, everything just it just felt right. You know, that's what made me want to be part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? I could have went elsewhere, but it's just something about the regulators that, you know, you know, the things that they abide by, it just make you want to be a part of this a part of this organization. What does the state championship mean to you and your, and your teammates, your, your kids? I mean everything to the kids because they worked hard. And they said they was going to be champions from the beginning, before they even got shoulder pads on. This was the mission, and they all worked hard and accomplished one goal, just like a team should. Man, it means a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's, these kids deserved it, you know? We always preach to them, man, go out there and give it your all, and 
most importantly, have fun. And, you yeah. know, and that's what they did. You know, so now they, now they champions. But what are your plans for next season? Do it again. Man, run it back. <laughs> Let's run it back. <laughs> That's the goal. What would you say the strongest characteristic is for your team here? Uh, to just realize that a team is just that, a team. One person cannot make you win. It's a whole team effort. Uh, hard work pays off. You know, yep. you can't give up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard. We had... Man, these boys literally put their blood, sweat, and tears in this. You know, it was days, it was freezing cold. Cold you know, rain. And, you know, they did it, you know. Is there anything else that you all would like to add to, to this? Go Regulators! That's <laughs> <laughs> Um, reverse, tight, tight end, um, and, and Jamel reverse. Jamel reverse, I don't even know what, I, I don't know what reverse. Rakeesha, what was your most favorite play in Thank the game? Hmm? What was your most favorite play in the game? Thank 47, walk away. Did you score on that, did you score on that play? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. So, what was your most favorite play? Kaden. Kaden, I'm sorry. My most favorite play is 47 Beast. Double tight 47 Beast. Did you score on that play? Mm-hmm. Kyra, mm -hmm. so what was your most favorite play in the game? Jet Sweet Left. Jet Sweet Left, did you score on that play? Yes. <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> so, Shari, what was your most favorite play in the game? 46B. 46B? Yeah. What? Did you score on that play? No. No. <laughs> but I scored last time on that play. Okay. Okay, okay. It's 47. I said that. No, you said 46. No, I did not. What Kaden, what was the what was the most exciting thing this season that you did in football? When what was the exciting thing when I... This season, you did in football. When I had juke somebody and I made them go that way. Okay. Keyshawn, what was the most exciting thing you did this season in football? Uh, the exciting thing I did was hit, score a lot of touchdowns, and make a lot of tackles. Jamel, what was the most exciting thing you did this season? Touching people and making them get hurt. Okay. <laughs> Kyra, what was the most exciting thing you did this season? When I was running, I was spun out of somebody. Okay. Shari, what was the most exciting thing you did this season? Mm -hmm. I tackled someone in, in the back. In tackled the back. Tackled somebody, somebody in the back. Back to why they were running that way. Oh. Okay. And Kato Fat Butt was right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all no, about you easy ain't tackle. serious. You ain't serious. Yes, so, do you all like being regulators? Yes. yes. Well, do you want to go play anywhere time. else? No. no. You guys going to play until you go to high school? Yes. yes. No. You going to come back and do it again? Yes. No. Okay. All right. Wait a second. Why are you saying no? <laughs> I said don't know. You don't know? Okay. okay. Nice. So, so next year, y'all gonna do this again? Yes. yes. Gonna be state champions next yes. year. Yes. So hold on to your title. Yes. yes. All right now. Next year, we're gonna be out there. And who are y'all? Regulators. Regulators. It's time to what? Let them dogs out. All right now. <laughs> Bob well, <I> forgot that. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Hello, my name is Courtney Jones Jr. And I am the running back for the 12 U Regulators. I am also the son slash head coach of the organization. Um, hey, I'm Joy Ho, and I chair for the Regulators. And I'm also the daughter of the head coach. And yeah, and president. So, what was the most exciting thing that happened to you all 
this season with the regular. The most exciting thing that happened to me is when I found out that our 8U was going to the state championship. I also have a little brother that played with them, and I doubted his team all the way there, and he proved me wrong. Um, my most exciting moment this season was whenever the um, AUs won their championship because, like, they was working really hard and they were saying they was going to um, make it. And another thing is whenever um, we had all the teams there and all the other team was saying that they was going to win and talking about us, and we did end up winning against them. At first, I wasn't really sure, but then as I started getting used to it and starting to make new friends, then I was just like, yeah, it's fun. And then, like, towards the middle and the end, I was like, I feel like this is what I want to do now. Okay. So, CJ, what do you expect your 12U, your 12U team to be? How do you expect them to perform next season? Well, we have a lot of people that are staying from this year, and we're going to keep building up on that and players will more join, and we're just going to get a lot of players, and hopefully we can be better this year. Next year. What do you expect from the organization next year? Um, I expect the organization to be, like, more together. Like, we together, but I'm talking about, like, nobody really leaving the team. No one, like, ended up, like, not getting along. And yeah. They definitely had a lot of that this season, didn't they? Yes. We had a lot of ups and downs, but soon it all came together. Just like any other family, right? Mm hmm. The family ain't just blood. And we got one big old family, right? Mm hmm. And that family gonna keep growing. What'd you expect out of your lady right now, Mr. Sure, John? Um, well, what I expect is for us to get more along than how we was in the beginning of the season because it was like everybody was okay with it. We had a lot of cheerleaders, but not everybody was getting along. So I expect us to, like, if we do have more cheerleaders, then we should be able to get along and that we should be able to make friends off of other teams without like having to think that just because they're two leaders on a different team that we can't be friends with them. Thank you. Thank you for your time. My name is Kaden Evans and I play running back. My name is Keisha Bratcher and I play quarterback. My name is Jamel Hall, I play tight end. My name is Kyla Dixon and I play running back. My name is Sally Hall, I play running back.